Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing. In this problem, we are given a connected acyclic graph with n nodes and n minus one edges. Okay, so it means that there would be only one connected component, and there won't be cycles in the graph. Okay, that means there won't be loops in the graph like this. Okay. Now there are n nodes. Suppose n is equals to three, that means it would be one, two, and three. But the cycles won't be present, and there would be n minus one edges. So if you remove this edge, okay, if you remove this edge, then this can be a input case for this problem. Now we need to find the number of nodes that are even distance from each other. So given the input, let us first draw the graph itself from one. We have a edge to two. From two, we have an edge to one that is already there, and we have an edge to three itself. And from three, we have an edge to two itself. Now, what are the number of pairs? We can say that the number of pairs are sorry. This won't be there because three to two is already there. Now, the number of pairs that are there are one. And three, because the distance between them, that is the number of edges between them, is two itself. That is why there is only one pair. Now let us try to understand this problem a little bit better. To understand this problem a little bit better, suppose we have one, then the distance to the next immediate node. Suppose this distance is d, then the distance to reach here would be d plus one, and same goes to D plus three, D plus two itself. Okay, that means that this one and this one can be a pair. Okay, fair enough. Now let us try to generalize this more. To generalize this more, we can think of that we can start from the node one, and the distance to that would be zero, and then we can move to node two with distance plus one, and then node three with distance plus. This was the first observation that the distance to reach the node and the distance to reach the next immediate node would be the distance of the previous node plus one. This was the first observation. So distance of parent is equal to distance of parent plus one. It is the distance of the children itself. Now the observation, second observation is that. Not only two and four is there. Okay, that is the difference between them. Is suppose the difference. Suppose it this distance of two is equals to two and the distance of four is equals to four. I am taking both the values as same because to make the understanding more clear. Now it can also be seen that suppose the distance of one is three, then the distance of this would be four and the distance of three. Would be five, so this also and this also has a distance. So we can say that we need to take care of odd values too. Now the we have got the two concern that we need to start off from a source and then we need to keep incrementing. And if we just look at this, then there are two available solution: the DFS and the BFS. The implementation of BFS. Requires an auxiliary cube, but in DFS that is a recursive solution. We don't use a data structure auxiliary data structure, and it is more simpler to use. So we would go with the DFS approach. So we would start from the source, and then if we go down, we would increase the difference to plus one. This is how we would proceed, and then we would find all the number of odd. And all the number of even, then the formula would be like this: that the number of odd multiplied with odd minus one, okay, and this would be plus and even into n minus one because we have computed once value twice, so we would divide it by two itself. This is how you would proceed. So, what are the things that needs to be done? We need to have a distance array to have the distance, and as this is a graph, we need the visited array also because it is not a tree. And the next thing what we need to do is we need to take care of even as well as odd itself. Okay, hope I am clear. Still, 
if there is a slight doubt how we would implement this, I would show you the implementation and then it would be crystal clear. To save time, I have already initialized a visited array with everything as not visited and the distance array with everything as zero. Now we have the DFS function where we would pass the graph and the source would be one because there is, this is a connected component. It is one, there is only one connected component. Then we have initialized two variables that is even and odd. Hope I am clear till this point. Then we would proceed itself. Now what we would do is we would have to design or rather code the DFS function that would be void DFS and we would have the vector of int the vector of okay we would just copy this okay this one is copied now the next we have is the node itself that is it would be acting as the source and then we have the distance array okay then we have the boolean visited array okay let me just make it a bit small yeah, now we have the Boolean visited array. Okay, and now we have the number of values. Okay, this is what we need to do. Now, if this thing is already visited, the value we are trying to visit is already visited, that means we need to return because there is no point in visiting that node again. Otherwise, it would be a very naive solution. Then, if that is not visited, the control of the program came here, so we would mark it with true. Then we would have the distance of the particular node as C itself. Yeah, we have initialized the C itself. Now, if we move forward, we have for auto e dash for each loop of the graph of this particular node itself. If that thing is not visited, if that thing is not visited, if not visited of E, then what we would do is we would pass this in the DFS function with the distance plus one. Now we would pass this graph, then the node would now be E itself, distance and visited, and the distance would be this one would be plus one. This is it. Okay. Now if we go down, what we need to do is we need to have a for loop in i is equal less than equal to n and then i plus plus. Then if it if the distance of i modulo 2 is equals to equals to 0, okay, then we need to add the even value, even plus plus. Else what we would do is odd plus plus. Okay, then we would use the same formula int answer is equals to even multiplied with even minus 1. Okay, and then we would add a value that is odd multiplied with odd minus 1, and then we would divide the whole thing by 2 itself because we have a repeated value. So let me just check it if we have everything correct or not. Okay, we got the correct compilation completion. And yes, we got an AC. Thank you and have a nice day.